Hi guys, it is still May 18, 2019. It is 8.07 p.m. on the East Coast, so on the West Coast. It is 5.07 p.m. Oroville, are you getting rain? It still looks like this may be... Um, Oroville is in this area, and it still looks like they may be evaporating the precipitation. See? The yellow indicates, you know, um, heavy precipitation. And, well, it seems to weaken right around Oregon. It takes a very weird, um, looks like a frequency shot, hit it, and then the precipitation just went wild. Boom. All right. Still the extremely low frequencies, constant from the Oregon, inside Oregon, right near the California border. Um, but it does appear that this storm is weakening right when it gets to the Oroville area. And you can see these frequencies are hitting the precipitation. There's a shot right there. The extremely low frequencies are coming right here. You may not be able to see them in my video. You see frequencies, a shot right there, and yep. If you can't see it in my video, I will link below to it, and you can come over here and check it out. Look closely, and you will see extremely low frequencies hitting this storm at this they're walling it off and boom less precipitation for Oregon alright so I got this uh, Westport News that gives uh, for each city in California uh, the forecast and Oroville showers and thunderstorms Venti Sky, well, Oroville, you are getting rain, and Oroville Lake could get up to 1.20 inches, uh, over, over an inch. Now, I spoke with a subscriber who told me that one inch of rain would greatly um, increase the amount of water in Lake Oroville. I can't remember exactly, you know, the footage that she said, but I did get a comment from someone who confirmed what she said, and he wrote, one inch would increase the footage to 12. I mean, it, it would be a 12 foot increase. 12. One inch, 12 feet, that puts it over the top. That puts it over the top, the Oroville Dam. So that's very concerning. And maybe that's why they're working it to keep that water away from the dam. Now, I find it interesting that suddenly we're seeing a decrease in the Oroville Dam. Not much, but I haven't seen this since I've been looking at this, um, this hourly readings on dam, the um, how high the lake is, the input, the output. Okay. So, 
I, I'm having trouble now, and this is the first time that I've really questioned these numbers coming out of the Department of Water Resources. Uh, from 6 o'clock till 12 o'clock, six hours, the lake, the um, how high the lake is, stayed steady, which seems odd. Um, we've not seen, uh, well, I haven't seen these numbers stay steady for six hours. And now we have a decrease and it's staying set steady, uh, steady for four hours and the new data should be in and it is and it's still at 890 94 alright uh, yeah well even if you're getting a little bit of rain uh, this doesn't make sense to me but I want to read this was sent to me by a subscriber and uh, she got it from someone on Facebook Callie Anon here I need some help from the digging crew I'm in a FEMA camp due to the campfire the camp is located right above the Oroville Dam there has been a lot of chatter about what was going on up here lately so much so that the Butte County Sheriff's office put out a reassurance notification on social media to let the public know he was keeping an eye on things. The message gave me a very bad feeling. I don't effing trust him. We got notifications from PG&E for three days previous to the fire. Now I'm wondering if these messages are advanced warning for those in the know of what's going to happen. He did say uh, there's no imminent danger. Imminent danger. Meaning, well, you're not in danger, you know, for the next five minutes or ten minutes or 24 hours. Imminent means, uh, well, that danger is going to happen very, very, you know, quickly. So it's interesting that he used that word because he left open. Ah, but a danger could come next week or next month. Okay, so he th this person is wondering if that was a message to those to who are in the know to start evacuating. Early evacuation for those who understand. I have been seeing strange motion of equipment such as entire parking lots of machinery and etc. being removed and lots cleared overnight. I think they are going to blow the dam. I started researching the Kiwit company who landed the contract to repair the dam. They are also a mining company. CEO is named Bruce Grucock. Keck for real though. Uh, anyway, Trump just took a billion dollars away from California, which he did, uh, the railway, um, right before the campfire, Trump had commented on not giving the money for the railway. I saw shit going down beforehand and I wish I would have realized then what I was seeing. I don't know how to dig too deep so any information would be much appreciated. They are going to need a big false flag very soon to distract from their crimes. You know, other people are talking about a false flag and yeah, they um, speculate that it could be Oroville Dam. We don't know. All we can do is speculate. You know, I look. You know, they blowing this dam with all of this attention now on the dam. Uh, well, I'm rational and reasonable, so I would say they couldn't possibly do it. But they're not reasonable. <laughs> We've got psychopaths. Um, and they can do anything. And look, the American people, on the whole, are in a condition where they can do anything now. They can do anything now. And Americans, they're choosing to be clueless and they don't care. So, I did find it interesting that there was a FEMA camp 
that just opened. Now, is it above Oroville? I don't know. But this was posted three days ago, ABC 10. Uh, FEMA opens temporary housing community for campfire uh, survivors. And my hunch is that this is where that person is. And did I mention how much I want people to answer this question? Did you guys have access to the lake? And now you don't have access because of the restrictions placed on the Department of Water Resources and the restrictions uh, placed on uh, the Oroville Dam. Nobody answered my question. And there were Oroville subscribers who left comments. And you didn't ask my questions. So please answer them now. Is anybody else in this area seeing strange activity taking place? Um, let us know. And let us know, are you getting a whole lot of rain? Because I'm actually seeing these per the perfect circles erupt or uh, just come about. Yes, I do believe that they are trying to stop the rain um, so that it doesn't hit that Oroville Lake. Yes. And they can do that. Alright guys, I will link below to everything. Uh, based on what we're seeing here, well yeah, the storms, well look at this jet stream, my god. I mean it's splitting up, it's going east, it's going west, it's going east down here, it's and seems to be wanting to go in a circle in the Pacific. God. All right, so yes, it looks like you're getting a lot of bad storms. But even here, it looks like they are, they're hitting it with frequencies right around that Oroville Lake. Alright guys, stay safe.